NCRT Solutions Chapter Number Four, Quadratic Equations, Exercise 4.4, Question Number One. The problem is find the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations. If the real roots exist, find them. So let's go go to the first quadratic equation. It's 2x square minus 3x plus 5 equal to 0. We want to find nature of roots of this quadratic equation. So in order to find nature of roots, we find the value of discriminant and, di and discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac and we can also write discriminant by small letter d and if the value of this discriminant comes out greater than 0 then we have distinct and real roots And if value of d is equal to 0, we have equal and real roots. And if value of d is less than 0, then we have no real roots. So that's what we do. We just find the value of discriminant. And according to the different cases, we can find the nature of the roots of given quadratic equations. So let's find, let's find the value of discriminant for this quadratic equation. And in order to find the value of discriminant, we compare this equation with general quadratic equation, which is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. And, and when we compare both of these, we get a equal to 2, b equal to minus 3, and c equal to 5. And discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac. And we get here b square is minus 3 square minus 4 times a is 2 times c is 5. And the square minus 3 square is 9 and 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 5 is 40 and we get minus 40 here because there is negative sign here and 9 minus 40 is minus 31 so the value of d coming up here is therefore d which is equal to 31 is less than 0 so we are in this case so then we can say that we have no real rules so that's the nature So what's the meaning of this no real roots? It means that we cannot have any real value of x here which can satisfy this quadratic equation. Okay, now let's go to second problem. We have 3x square minus 4 under root of 3x plus 4 equal to 0. We repeat the same process. We will find the value of discriminant and to find the value of discriminant we need to compare it with, with general quadratic equation. And Comparing both of these equations, we get value of a equal to 3, b equal to minus 4 under root of 3, and c equal to 4. And discriminant d i s c r i m i n a n t is equal to b square minus 4 a c, and it's equal to minus 4 under root of 3 square minus 4 times 3 times. Four. I'm just putting the values of a, b, and c here, and minus four under root three times minus four under root three. So minus minus becomes plus. So it's equal to four times four is sixteen, and under root three times under root three is three, and it's equal to forty-eight here. So I'll write forty-eight here, and four times three is twelve, and twelve times four is again forty-eight. So it's forty-eight minus forty-eight, and it's equal to zero. So value of d coming up here is zero. So we are in this case now d equal to 0 so we can write that we have equal and real roots so the roots exist now so we need to find the roots actually so how we will find them we have values of a b and c and we can now use quadratic formula in order to find them quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a i'll just put the values of a b and c and minus b we have b is minus 4 under root 3 so i get here 4 under root of 3 plus minus minus 4 under root of 3 square minus 4a a is 3 and c is 4 and we know and it's 3 here again 
and we know that this whole thing is equal to zero and this is actually the square root of discriminant this is b square minus 4ac if we look at the quadratic formula this is actually the discriminant thing under the square root and we know that this is equal to zero so i'll can just write plus minus under root of zero divided by six here so x is equal to four under root three plus minus under root of zero divided by six so in one case we can consider this positive sign and in another case we can consider this negative sign or we can just directly write the value of x or we can just directly write the value of x is equal to 4 under root 3 divided by 6 which is equal to under root 3 divided by 2 under root 3 divided by 3 actually and we because we have two equal values we can write two such values but let's go through this thing in order to avoid confusion how we get two equal values so we can write 4 under root of 3 plus under root of 0 divided by 6 and 4 under root 3 minus square root of 0 divided by 6 in one case I consider this positive sign and in another case I consider the, consider this negative sign so I write here 4 under root of 3 plus 0 divided by 6 and here I get 4 under root of 3 minus 0 divided by 6 so Another, this is equal to 4 square root of 3 divided by 6 and this is also 4 square root of 3 divided by 6 now I can cancel this by 2 and similarly this one so I get here 4 square root of 3 divided by 3 and here also 4 square root of 3 divided by 3 so these are two values of x which are equal and we needed to find the roots if they exist from this part now let's go through number 3 part and the equation is 2x square minus 6x plus 3 equal to 0. Now we again find the value of discriminant by comparing it with the, both of these equations. I get value of a equal to 2, b equal to minus 6 and c equal to 3 and discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4ac is equal to minus 6 square minus 4 times a it's 2 and it's 3 here I get 36 minus 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 3 is uh, 24 and 36 minus 24 is 12 here so value of discriminant is 12 and using quadratic formula we can find so discriminant is greater than 12 here so we can comment about the nature of roots the roots are going to be distinct and real because d is greater than 0 so I can write here distinct and real roots. So x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant here because here we write basically b square minus 4ac and it's equal to discriminant. So I will just wrote, I will just write square root of d divided by 2a. Now I'll just need to put values of a, b, and c. B is minus 6. So minus b is equal to plus 6 plus minus square root of d. d is 12 divided by 2a. a is 2 so it will become 2 times 2 here. So I get here 6 plus minus square root of 12 divided by 4 here. And now the square root of 12 is 2 square root of 3 divided by 4 here. So I get here x equal to 6 plus minus 2 square root of 3 divided by 4 now in one case I will need to consider this positive sign and in another case I will need to consider this negative sign so I get x equals 6 plus 2 under root of 3 divided by 4 and 6 minus 2 under root of 3 divided by 4 here now I can take 2 common from the top I get 3 plus square root of 3 divided by 4 here and similarly here I can take 2 common from the top and I get 3 minus square root of 3 in the brackets and 4 here. I can cancel this 2 by this 4, get 2 in the denominators. So value of x equal to 3 plus square root of 3 divided by 2 from here. And from here I get 3 minus square root of 3 divided by 2. So these are values of x for part 3 for this part. So in this video we just learned how to comment on the nature of the roots by finding the value of discriminants and how we further solve them if the roots exist. In the next video I will be covering 
chapter 4 quadratic equations exercise 4.4 problem number 2 see you guys